Yes? Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? It's pretty long for me. Oh. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. Exterminator, I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? 
It's a good plan. If we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, Can't once you're this. on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'm... Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. So you gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all heart, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on.
was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Sounds like you're scared of Synths. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. compromise most of the facility.
Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. rating of 96.7%. Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go.
Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Going up. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I don't need an evaluation. Accepting constructive criticism is the best way to improve ourselves, both physically and mentally. However, this doesn't diminish your role in the operation. Without your assistance, it could have been in jeopardy. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now. As far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So. What do you say? So, what would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details.
it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Just open the damn door. I don't think so. Come back when you learn some manners. Vault 81 security. Ready to explain that pit boy? I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, she did say she was from Vault 111. And she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? It's more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Hmm. So you do rely on the Commonwealth? A bit, yes. Although some here would argue that opening our doors was a mistake. You should be open-minded about the Commonwealth. It has its dangers, but it's got a lot to offer. It's the dangers that concern me. Now? I have work to do. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If she's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure she's chosen her friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Signs of radiation. Press it. What are you doing up here? Ash? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Aaron. Commonwealth? Go away, kid. You bother me. Asshole. We got a barber here if you need it. Not 
say you do. I heard we had a trader in today. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Am I for some caps? All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. Mm -hmm. I can give you... Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Your pip boy ever act up on you? If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll look you up. Whoa! A real-life Commonwealth person! You dress funny. Hey, sweetie. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. If your cat's out in the Commonwealth, he's probably dead. Don't say that. It's not true. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. Now, where did I put those screws? She's looking pretty bad in there. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. You should stop by and see the ratio of that game called. Can't imagine the best in the Watch yourself. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you.
Back again? We'll be watching you. Yeah? Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Watch yourself. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby, Bobby that wanderer on, from the Commonwealth. Sir. What is it, Bobby? I'm Rachel. You know that door I assist Dr. Forsythe with his medical duties. Found it of me. Are you sick or injured? Private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I'll do it for Austin. You have a good heart. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Don't try it. Commencing attack on hostile target. <laughs>
sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just well, this is gonna be a joy for you. Neither do I. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, home. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone You are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. Nobody. Another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Do I look like Vault Tech Security? Jeez. Over the long years, who is to say what is fashionable now? True, your attire is a bit dirty, but not all people properly value the importance of hygiene and cleanliness. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had uh -huh. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You can go. Freedom, at long last. Hopefully now, I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, 
I think I will follow you out. Is that your pit boy? Of the Commonwealth. It's it's Diamond City Radio. The work never ends in Vault 81. Stay out of trouble. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. The cure? You found it? Give him half, and I'll take the other half. It doesn't work that way. Half a dose won't cure him. Stop being selfish and just give me the serum. How is Austin doing? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, man. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Vault-Tec was a corrupt corporation. They got just what they deserved down there. From what I've seen, I believe you. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-Commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. 
consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. It sounds like the vault could really use you. Of this, there is no doubt. But I seek to elevate my capabilities, and down here I will stagnate. Please, madame, can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Aaron told me how you saved Austin's life. I guess you're not bad for an outsider. I heard that kid who well, got hello. It's Ashes. gonna be all right. You found him! Thanks, ma'am! I was so worried about him. It was no big deal. You're still my hero. Mom says I can give you this. Ashes! Bad kitty. I was so worried about you. And I bet Mom's gonna make you feel bad. Seeds. I need more seeds. Yes? You've got guts wearing that pit boy in the comedy. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. 